Kings Island just announced their new Giga Coaster Oria, and of course, they just announced it. So in today's video, I'll be bringing you guys my analysis. So of course, the blueprints have already been leaked. Uh, so we pretty much know what the layout will be. We just needed like the name and those other small details. And obviously, uh, they wanted the Orion name, uh, which like over Polaris, which I did prefer the Polaris name over Orion, but it is still good. Now going over the announcement video, it starts out with decades ago. Astronomers predicted it would happen within the meteor and the video coming in and then in 2020 it begins a meteor storm that will continue for generations with of course the lift hill in the background but then but there is hope for a new planet in the orion constellation and a simulator is ready for testing and then it goes down the drop and through the whole animation which i will get to later but overall it looks pretty cool of course it'll have it will be the park's single largest investment in park history and it will cost as much as the park when open which is actually really crazy to think think about. Now even just looking through the animation it looks stunning. The colors look very good. A little different than Leviathan or Fury's Blue and in my opinion this is better and maybe the best uh, looking coaster in the park and of course also with those white supports. But then of course the ride experience looks like it'll be fantastic. The theme is a little vague but it also I, I also hope there's some theming in like the queue or station. Of course you won't see any theming during the ride but actually X-Base which used to be the name of the area is now going to be called uh, Area 72, of course, in honor of when Kings Island opened in 1972, but it sounds cool, of course, Flight of Fear is right next door. But getting to the stats, of course, it's made by BNM. It'll have a top speed of 91 miles per hour, now a height of 287 feet, which at first you think, hey, that's not a giga, but the drop is 300 feet, just barely it is a giga, but we have seen the blueprints before, uh, it was like a long time ago we saw them, so we know it would be a short giga, but it looks to be fantastic and pretty steep, though. Now, it will have a track length of 5,321 feet, and it looks like a duration around 3 minutes now. You will have to be 54 inches to ride, which is pretty solid for, a, you know, like a big B&M. They don't have an angle of descent on the drop, but looking at the drop, I'm guessing it's going to be around 80 to 85 degrees. But now looking at the theme again is that the scientists are you know, like, supposed to be in a race against time to develop technology capable, capable of weaving transport vehicles through like a coming meteor storm and like traveling to a new planet with Orion in the Orion constellation uh, but then of course for the program to be successful it needs volunteers to help with testing which of course are the riders the theme like I said is interesting but cool now looking at the layout it has some very nice elements like that big turn right after the drop I mean like the turnaround bank and it, the kind of wave turn near the end which I think like the drop will be the best part of the ride I mean if you've ridden Fury like you know what I mean these drops feel like you're going down them forever and it'll most likely be the best part of the ride and now obviously um it'll definitely be a fantastic addition to king's island skyline it'll like be like too good now like the duration is a little short like for you know like a giga definitely shorter than fury maybe longer than leviathan and probably not you know shorter than i-305 but it'll be fine it still will deliver a fantastic ride experience now here's one of my cons and that is that it is only 287 feet tall which the, like the 300 foot uh drop that is making it a giga but you gotta go taller one of the possible answers to that problem is that they did not want to go and overthrow millennium forces the tallest giga in ohio cedar point is like cedar fair's treasure they still wanted to have like the like the two tallest coasters in ohio which is really dumb on their part i mean millie is 20 years old i think that range should be over like if there was another reason why they would not want to make it taller is that maybe like they didn't want to spend more more money of course uh, as like more of more steel uh that like that's really expensive so and also land usage you know, like if you make it taller um it'll have be taken more land but they definitely should have gone bigger now pointing out and if you're wondering on how the drop is 300 feet and that is on the, like the lift hill and the drop are on a hill on a slight hill so the drop just goes 13 uh feet deep into the ground it doesn't really look like it because the slope is so gradual but if you look closely you really can't see it Looking at the ride as a whole,
whole, you know, from the off-ride, it looks oh, so stunning. I mean, especially that drop in the first bank. It really is presented well. The location of this coaster is fantastic. It really does round out, like, the park where all the good coasters are. But now, getting into this ride element by element, you will start by leaving the station. Then go up that lift hill at 287 feet tall, dominating the skyline, like I said earlier, and a great view. And then you will plummet down that drop. Now, this thing is right next to Racer, which it'll look huge from, like, down on Racer. Although the drop is very, uh, like it's a very long drop. It's 300 feet, which makes it a giga. These drops really are fantastic. Just like the ones on Fury and Leviathan, they feel like you're going down them forever. And then you'll go into this element that actually looks to be fantastic. It's a huge turn in the air that actually looks to deliver some sideways airtime. I was really impressed with what they did here. It's pretty much a wave turn. This element is probably the most underrated element on the ride. It just looks so massive, and you'll be turning right up there in the air with which this sensation will be like great i mean one of the best uh parts of the ride now probably um then you'll go up into this next turn which you will turn down in the air and uh which looks to solid to be pretty solid it'll probably be one of the weaker elements actually on this ride we're then next into these back-to-back -back airtime hills the first one being a speed hill very much like mako and then into a more standard hill delivering some good floater and flow director airtime on these both of these airtime hills like i said that's speed hill is very similar to Mako, except a little bigger which is um so it may be better it's hopefully uh it hopefully will deliver some great full ejector and sustained airtime and of course that will be like that standard airtime hill you see on tons of bnm so will definitely be really good next you'll go into this smaller figure eight which looks to be really fun the same thing is on shambhala but this one is a little smaller i think it has the potential to be better than shambhala as it's lower to the ground so it will probably be going faster through it it also looks to deliver some good intensity like other good helixes out there but next is that kind of miniature wave turn that is smaller than the other one um, but it is a good way to end off the ride and then you'll go into the brakes of course you have the classic bnm giga long brake run that just gives you the time to go over what you just experienced and of course that brake run is 83 feet tall now Will this be the best coaster, Kings Island? Maybe, you know, I'm a big fan of Mystic Timbers, but just maybe it'll be better. I'm guessing it probably will be, and um, it'll probably be one of the best coasters in the world, actually, when it opens. And I think it will be as good as normal Giga should. So I want to hear your guys' opinion on Orion at Kings Island. Do you think it'll be better than what people think it'll be? Share that in the comments below. Now, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to subscribe, hit that bell icon to get notified when I post a new video. It helps a lot, and see ya.